okay so in this video we'll be implementing the flash messages so displaying the flash messages whenever we send something from the backend so yeah that's gonna be an interesting one as well so let's go ahead and do that so if we are going to implement that using the middleware that we have that uh, comes with inertia so handle inertia requests and here what we can do is we can pass in any data that we want to be displayed or that we want to access in the front end like uh, as an example here we have the auth and user and we are passing in the auth user and by the way this is something that comes uh, with inertia itself so when we install this is something that already comes uh, in the framework itself so as an example uh, this is uh, being shown here so here what i also want to do is along with the auth i want to pass in an additional array with the key of flash and the one of the keys uh, values is going to be a message and the type so depending on the type we are either going to display a success error or any other messages and the message is the actual content itself so the message is we are taking in the request session and then getting the message properly and the type is the same so we are getting in the request session get type and the default is going to be success so yeah keep that in mind so let's save this and now whenever we pass anything from the back end like in our case we have student controller and whenever we uh, pass anything like read and redirect route to student.index with the message student deleted successfully so, so we are not passing any type in here because the default is going to be success and if you want to pass in the type then what you can do is we can pass in an array and we can pass in the type in here like danger so yeah this is how it works and yeah i just wanted to give you an idea about how to deal with that so here the default is going to be success and the message is being passed so how do we implement that in the front end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement a new component and so that we can re reuse that everywhere so i am going to define a new component inside components and let's name it alert component dot svelte and here as well i'm gonna paste some code so that i don't have to type everything and here what we are doing is we are receiving that message and again we are receiving the type and the default is success so yeah just making sure that we don't get an error if we don't pass anything and if message and type is gonna is uh if we have the message and if the type is success then we are gonna display this with the message being passed in here and if we have the message and the type is gonna be error then we are going to display this and we also have to make sure that we have the message otherwise uh, we might uh, render only this part with the message as empty string so this that would also get rendered i guess so yeah checking these things is always a good practice and yeah now what we can do is we can make use of this thing in here so here i have a section for alerts so what we can do is we can define that alert component and the message is gonna be what would it be so we can receive that as a prop so how do we receive that let's go ahead and check out the inertia doc and okay share data so whenever we share anything we can receive that as a prop on the front end so where's that okay yeah we have the page from the inertia svelte and page dot props dot and then the value whatever we passed from the middleware so yeah let's import that first and then we'll look into that import i think we can directly import that in here because they are all inside the same namespace okay that looks good and page dot props is the code to access our props so we can do that in here okay the message is gonna be page dot props dot flash dot message so this is something that we define in the handle inertia request 
middleware so flash dot message so we are passing that message to this component and if we have the value then if we have the message in here then in that case we are displaying that here okay so let's go ahead and get a try by trying to delete a user or a student let's reload and maybe we haven't imported this component so that's the reason why it's throwing an error so let's try to reload it once again and now this should work let's delete a user click on ok and now as you can see we have that last message being displayed in here called student deleted successfully so you can do the same for other type of messages as well whether you have warnings whether you have errors so depending on the type and the message so depending on the type you can display these code blocks accordingly and yeah that's also an interesting use case and yeah it was fun to implement so that's it for this video and in the next part we'll be looking at implementing the pagination so yeah that's also going to be an interesting one and i'll see you guys in the next one